hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here, and we're back with the final stage in the Zeta Force series. Uh, fifth Fortress stage, Zeta Core. By Rigelt. So we'll be concluding this one, and actually, as of the recording of this, I don't have any more stages on my list, so... Uh, maybe I'll go hunting for a couple random things. We always we have a good time with those. And then within like a week again, Rigel will send me like another 15 stages with his next series. And that's just kind of how it goes. But feel free to uh, recommend some stages as well. Ooh. The final Wily stage music in Mega Man 10. Leave a lasting impact. Oh! So we're playing as both Mega Man and Proto Man. Okay. That's interesting. What was what was up here that I had a I don't have two key. Oh, because one is to. Oh, I hit the button too many times. I'm not sure why we needed two keys, though. Oh, because we actually got transported to a different spot. Did you notice that? Because there's no teleporter up there up the ladder anymore. Interesting. Makes the illusion that you're... it's a... it's the same spot, but I know the mechanics of Mega Man Maker. It is actually a different screen entirely. Okay. We need a different way entirely to deal with... Sniper Joe. Alright, oh, we gotta be Proto Man again. I guess we're using Flame Sword because that's what we were on. Interesting. I mean, this place looks. It looks okay. I don't know why I tried that. Oh, actually, I need to be over here. <laughs> tricky, tricky. I will say the aesthetics and theme, uh, the, the music, go well together. Another Proto Man section. Yeah, I mean, I knew that wasn't going to work. I just... I wanted to do it anyways. Interesting challenge there. Nice checkpointing. What am I supposed to be doing here? Okay, so I need to get some blocks gone. Mm, I don't think I was supposed to shoot him that way. Well, how else was I... Well, that's not how it's done. Oh, I'm supposed to use the ladder to... I see what I'm supposed to be doing. Um... Something's gonna get me killed. 
We'll do it like that. <laughs> oh, I fell. I thought I could... For some reason, I thought I could just slide across the top there. You know what? That's what those spikes are for. This is entirely what those spikes are for. I want that M-Tank. He's screwing up my jump. Okay, so the way I did this... Like that, okay. And we will do that to get that. There, now we're good. Now we're good. I kind of knew I wasn't going to dodge both the Gabule and the Sniper Joe there. Checkpointing in the stage has been good so far. I like the challenge with the sheep blocks. Ooh. Tricky, but not too tricky. I like it. And then another checkpoint right away. Well done. supposed to touch those spikes, am I? Ah, I just jumped slightly too... too early. Oh, I should have jumped to get on that. Oh, again. That is a tricky spot. That time I jumped too early. Sorry for the lack of commentary here, it's just I'm trying to focus on the challenge. Is there anything I can do to cheese the challenge? Sure. Yeah, I knew that was going to get me killed. <laughs> okay, so we can't cheese the challenge. I can time slow, but I really don't... I really don't think time slow will help me, because I'll still have to time the thing. I jumped too early. I jumped way too early. <laughs> oh, I'm getting worse. And this is this is not Rigel's fault. Okay, why am I suddenly not making that jump? Did it just like turn into a four tile jump when I wasn't looking? I can make that jump, I can make that jump. Let's see, I can make that jump. Oh, I got there! I almost got there and then I almost didn't. No! Darn it! That jump is tight. I need to be a little bit closer to the edge. We might be here for a while.
I do feel this challenge right here is reminiscent of one that, that was a stage uh, a while back on the earlier playlist that had a lot of cool sheep block uses, but then it just had one that was it was way too demanding at the end. This is kind of reminiscent of that. But it's really just that one spot. That spot. I might use time slow when we get up above. More as a way because I don't want to die. And then we just don't jump anyways because the jump button didn't want to jump. The problem I have with... not that one. The problem I have with this one... I can't always do that jump... consistently. Ooh, got there. We have a checkpoint. We have a boss fight. We have death lasers coming. I really just feel like I should be doing... I just need to kill him as quickly. As I can. I guess it does not really matter. Just stand here and jump and have Jewel Satellite. Do not feel bad about cheesing that, because that was very dangerous down there. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Alright, we need a weakness. Well, I can just do the same thing again, can't I? I can't do the same thing again if we just die all the time. Yep, I'm just, we're cheesing it. I make no apologies for this. Then again, I'm only half cheesing it because literally the next time I fall down into the death lasers. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, Pump Man. Okay, things need to go. First, let's get time slow. I want that gap you gone, but... Same sense, I just want things to die. do this to cheese spark man there so let's do that and then i'll deal with pump man because having both of them throwing projectiles at me just is not it's not working for me i don't know if rigel intended this exploit when designing this 
The only thing I'm going to say I don't like about this boss fight room is the instant death spikes. Uh, this is the third boss fight in a row. Please don't have instant death spikes. Because those are making me nervous as... Oh, get up. I know, that's not your weakness. I can't jump on those. One tile... I'm not liking this fight. Trying to avoid stuff while trying to jump on one tiles and being mindful of those spikes. I mean, that weapon's doing well enough. Um, should I just assume this is the end? Of course, I can't. What else could I use to hurt him? You got me. That works. Okay, this was the final fight. Yeah, you have three boss fights in a row, and the third one has instant death in it. I don't like that design. Um, I don't like those one-tile conveyors there. I mean, granted, we cheesed it as much as possible. I did like some of the challenges going through. I like how you incorporated both Proto Man and Mega Man into the final uh, stage. That was neat. Um, I like some of the challenges. Did I like this enough for a thumbs up? I think so. There were a few things I didn't like about it. But there was, there was some good things here, so we'll give that an upvote. And with that, we'll put the Zeta 4 series to bed, and I'll see you guys next time.